Hey guys, let's go to Scar here with another Guardian Tales video. New patches coming here very soon in Guardian Tales, and I want to talk about the free stuff that we're going to be getting through the events. We got another Rift event coming to Guardian Tales, and I think the rewards we get from this Rift event are some of the best I've seen. There's a good exclusive weapon and a few really good accessories that I think everyone should take advantage of. Before we get into it, I'd appreciate it if you drop a like on this video if you haven't already done so already. Also, subscribe to the channel for more Guardian Souls content. And so with that out of the way, let's get into the video here. Typical Rift event and how it works is you go through stages. So you have a level 20, 30, 40, 50, all the way down to level 70 stage. And then certain characters give you different percentage bonuses on the rift event points so you're going to want to use ideally the new character to get the most possible points at 50 percent increase and then you're going to use the list of other characters to get the 20 percent increase to get as much points as possible once you beat it and then auto it then you'll be able to sweep it and then so you could just go in and sweep it every day and you're going to get a ton of these event rewards you should get pretty far in this even if you're free to play even if you're not um, doing the 300 gym refresh i think a lot last time i talked about one of these a lot of people in the comments were saying don't actually do the refresh you should be able to do it yourself if you just play in an active amount through all the other parts of the game plus making sure you really maximize as much as you can or on the actual event rewards itself there's a couple things that are in this banner that i think are actually really awesome so the first one is this right here. So there's going to be a black crown ring in the event rift rewards and it's very free to play accessible. It's pretty low here on the actual event rewards list. And the reason why I like it is because this is probably one of the best, I would say the best legendary accessory when it comes to survivability. The only thing that beats it is a fully max limit broken mad panda brooch. But look at all these stats here that you can get. The big thing about it, though, is you really want to option change stone it to make sure you hit it. But look at this. 14% HP, 6% potentially on defense. And you also get weapons coverage and speed. And then the base defense is actually pretty insane at, this is max limit broken, uh, 138.8. Uh, and then, you know, damage reduction no one really cares about because it's just like a flat reduction. It doesn't even really apply in most game modes that matter. Um, it's just, this is just pretty much a garbage stat. 14% HP, 5% defense, and then also the limit break ability too for even more defense. This is just an amazing accessory for just raw stats. And I think this is something that everyone should focus on. Even if you can't limit break it, this is something to invest in because it's definitely going to be something that you're probably going to want to limit uh, or max limit break if you had the opportunity to. Don't think I would actually use my like hammers on it like these legendary hammers i would definitely save those for something else as you go through and slowly farm the these up through random evolution and through the gotcha system definitely worth having it ready to go so when you do max limit break it is going to be awesome for you and, and it's already awesome even without the max limit break so then next on this list of things here in the rift that i think is absolutely incredible is going to be the next accessory and it's this honor ring and I think Honor Ring is a very solid accessory. It's not on the level, in my opinion, of a Black Crown Ring, but this is just an overall really solid accessory that it's just kind of a jack of all trades in the best sense of that. And it has a very unique effect here on attack decrease percentage where you can actually negate some of the attack decrease. And for certain parts of content, that's actually pretty nice in, in Arena, that's pretty nice. Uh, it has actually really solid stats for something that's providing attack. Actually, it has a pretty high base defense. It has HP, it has defense as well on it. And then when you max limit break it, you're going to get even more defense. So I'm a big fan of this accessory here. Glad that they're giving this out. This is something I'm definitely going to be picking up because I would like to max limit break mine and just have the option if I'm wanting something that actually does damage, but I, I want the survivability as well. It's kind of on the same level for me probably a little worse in my opinion of like ring of belief ring of belief is something where it's like i'm wanting damage at the same time i do want some survivability that's kind of like the level that i put these two accessories on because you have sharpshooter or minotaur necklace and both of them have really low base defense but those two are kind of in the middle ground they're not like full tank they're just a little bit more stats and i think for progression and stuff when every stat matters you're going to want the survivability a little bit more than you're going to want just raw damage that's something that we care about as a late game player we care about just like raw damage and like raids and stuff but when it comes to most progression content i would prefer being tankier uh, that's why i think both of these accessories are absolutely worth investing into limit break or not and then when you can limit break them, I'd probably prioritize Black Crown Ring, but both of them are very good. And then lastly, we have Aisha's exclusive weapon. I think this weapon is absolutely amazing uh, and one of the better 
accessories for you know, it could be good in raids it could be for early progression if this is one of the main characters you have if you're going a light team um you just need a solid tank character she's good and she's going to really boost up your damage because if we look at her effect here she has when she lands a critical hit all allies critical hit chance increases by two times for three seconds eight second cooldown time also just as a side thing she's one of the better characters for the scarecrow so if you want big damage there if you land all your crits you can just do a ton of damage that way but th this accessory is really nice in that perspective where you're going to be not only is she tanky for you but then she's boosting everyone's crit chance as she lands a crit so that's really nice then um when you eventually down the line, it scales very well because she has a, one of these unique effects here where most of the time, about 99% of the time, if you max limit break something, you're going to get 10% attack. There's very few situations where you get something else from a stat. So when you finally do max limit break this, you get extra 10% critical hit chance, which perfectly synergizes with the rest of her kit here. So I think that's really cool. So I know that's going to be way down the line for most people, and most people are not even going to care because they're not going to really want to invest in Aisha. But I think she's an amazing character for um, just in general. And she even scales up to some late game comps when it comes to like rating, for example. So it, you're not going to... That, there's a reason why I fully max limit broke this weapon. I think it's actually really good. And I really like that she's able to get 10% critical hit. Like, that's just not something you can find in almost anything. You, you got party buffs and cards, for example, and give you 3% critical hit. So max limit breaking this is absolutely massive for her. But it, even if you just completely take out the whole extra benefit of the max limit break, it's a very good weapon for her that's going to really boost the damage of your team. So I, I think she's absolutely great. Um, and then because she's so tanky, She's actually pretty good for if you if you need that extra uh, survivability, you can throw her in Camazone, you can throw her in Orbital Lift if you need the right typing for that. And I've used her to get through stages uh, that I was struggling with because I needed just a little bit more survivability so that extra health and stuff really came up clutch there. So that's going to be it when it comes to the main freebies that I want to talk about when it comes to this next patch here. I think they're actually really good. All these accessories are really going to help progress. Uh, I've been doing a lot of account takeovers and a lot of account advice based directly off the screenshots you guys give me. And I see a ton of people neglecting their accessories. That's one of the biggest things I see. And these are going to be two accessories that are really going to help uh, go forward. You can confidently invest in these and not feel like you're wasting your resources. So definitely pick these up. They're relatively short, easy to get on the event rift page when they come through. I'm excited for the new patch. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this new patch here. And with that, guys, I am out. Peace.